Hello, people. I'm, I'm like seven minutes into this video, and then I touched something, and the video stopped. So I have to start all over again with Lips of the Day. I have to let you know that there's an Ulta package that I was just about to show you, and I think the Ulta package touched something on the keyboard. Hello, people. It is Wednesday. August 23rd, 2017. Let's get started again. Okay. Lips of the day nude. I'm in that phase. The liner is Wet n Wild 7 Eleven. It doesn't have a name. Uh, lined. Just a regular brown. Just a, just a regular brown lip liner. Okay. Just a regular brown lip line. There you go. Right there. I told you I did this already, right? Okay. And I already wiped it off and everything. And I was wearing to go with the new, with the package and everything. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Push on, Nancy. Push on. Here's the Milani Color Statement Lipstick, which I thought I had done a lip look on before. But as it turn out, turns out, this is the first time I'm doing a lip look on it. I've had this lipstick forever, and I've never done a lip look on it. This is what happens when you have too much ish. Milani Color Statement Lipstick in number 55, Bahama Beige. It is a nude, and it is a beauty. Look at it. Topped with a matte lip glass, just to give it a little shine, because it's it's a nude. It's, it's a cream, but it's... It need a little, like most of the nudes that I have nude lipsticks, they need help. Nude lip glosses, obviously not. Nude lipsticks, they need a little help. And it's a clear lip gloss, so it's not affecting the shade of the lipstick. So here we go. This is what Bahama Beige looks like. Every time I look at it, I love it ever so. I don't know. This may be a dupe for Fresh Brew, Max Fresh Brew. I don't know. I don't care. I just love this. I just love this. Love this. I really don't know if you'll be able to see it because it's almost my skin tone. There it is. See? Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. You can see it. I really gave you a heavy swatch. There it is. It's that brownie nude that I love ever so. OMG. Yes, indeed he do. That's the lip liner. That's the lipstick. That's it together. Punched up with a little MAC lip glass. Now I'm talking about a little MAC lip glass. You know, this could go on on the street corner hookup. I'm at work, okay? And we, we had our little party yesterday. So I had to come back looking, you know, come correct to work after the twerking situation. So, and yeah, everybody was calling me the dancing queen today. So, um, yeah. So I had to, you know, I didn't want to give myself too much attention. I had enough of that yesterday. So I went with a nude, with a, you know, a very, one of my favorite shirts, blouses, whatever you want to call it. And it's got like a brownish design to it. So I, I, I went very, you know, very au naturel, makeup, no makeup kind of look. So that is lips of the day. This is Bahama Beige. I love it. I love it. I don't know what took me so damn long to make a lip look on this. Thinking I already did make a lip look on it. Then I, you know, normally when I'm doing a lipstick that, I've, that I already have without a new one, I check back to see when was the last time I used that lipstick. If I used it too soon, then I'll change it. If I have, if it's been months and months and months, then I'll use it again. I was looking for Bahama Beige. No such video. So I'm like, okay, well then, better late than never. So here we go. I love it. I love it. I love it ever so. Now let's get on with the goodies, shall we? We all know this wonderful, wonderful word. These wonderful, wonderful words. Ulta Beauty. Yes, indeed. Do people, you know I already opened it, right? I opened it in the car. J 
during my lunch hour to see and play with my goodies. So here we go. Let us get started. And oh, by the way, this is not the big, the big order. Oh no, no, no. The big order, the big, the biggin is the NYX order, which I think is coming on Thursday. I thought the Ulta order was the big order. And I opened it up and I'm like, well, this isn't the big order. Then I went back to check my receipts on um, my email. And you know, when they give you, when they send you a confirmation, they give you a list of everything that you've ordered. Oh yeah, the NYX order was a long, a very long list. So this was not such a long list, but we've got goodies nevertheless. So let us get started. Let me put this box down. Of course, I know Mr. Man. He stayed obviously right behind me. He's gonna. Oh, he is too busy looking outside. He is not bothered with the box today. The sample that they gave me is a sample that I've had before, and I love this scent. It's Ralph. Oops. Mm, Nancy, all butterfingers, all excited. Uh, is Ralph Lauren Romance? That's the sample perfume that I have from Ulta today. Love it, love it. I'll just put that aside over here. And now, okay. I've wanted this for a very long time only because I've worn, I've worn, I've used the bar soap of Clinique. Good God, man, these lights. Clinique facial soap, and this is the extra mild formula. Good Lord. There we go. Liquid facial soap extra mild formula. The bar is amazing. I love the Clinique extra mild bar soap, but they didn't have it in Ulta. They only had the liquid. So I said, okay, let me give it a shot. I mean, it's, it's going to achieve the same thing, so it shouldn't be, be that much of a difference. So I can't wait to use this. It's not a scrub. It's a, it's very dry to dry. I am very dry to dry. Extra mild. It's, it's the soap. It's the bar soap in liquid form. So this should be fun to use. So I'm going to use that. Um, I may even start using it tomorrow. Who knows? Then there is this mascara, which I was very intrigued with because the packaging looks like a Kat Von D-esque kind of a thing. It looks very Kat Von D-esque. This is LA Girl Double D Mascara. Separates and coats lashes. Buildable, lightweight formula. And of course, it's got my bristle brush. So I'm very intrigued, very intrigued indeed. Coats individual lashes. All right. Silicone brush. You know, I love me some silicone brushes, honey. I call them my bristle brushes, but whatever. Full lash effect. Dramatic black. So this should be rather interesting. I may, I may try this on uh, tomorrow. Next, let us start. Let's let's look. Let's look. Okay. Oh yes, people. I got the mini. I got the mini size because I wanted to try it out. I've been so so curious about this. Finally got my Mac Prep and Prime Fix Plus. Look how small it is. It's so cute. And of course, I did a little squirt. That did not sound right, and that did not come out right. I did a little spritz, okay? I did a little spritz in the car. This smells divine. Like, it smells really good. So, I may be, uh, yeah. Yeah, because, you know, I'm using this one right now. This is the one I used this morning. This Ulta Beauty one. The one that burns me. I'm just, I'm just I just want to finish it. It's only got a few spritzes left. So, I just want to finish yeah, you know, beauty is pain, people. So if I have to be in a little bit of pain to get my little glow, what? I think this is the glow because I sprayed it in the car. So this is, you know, it's giving me it's giving me life, honey. It's it giving me a life. This right here, I'm in love. Pixie may have a, uh, may have some comp. But with the price difference, yeah. 
Pixie may still win out. But now I've got a six plus little mini. So I'm very, very thrilled about that. Next. Uh, oh, and of course they gave me another sample of the MAC False Lashes Extreme Black. So I've got another mascara. So I could get rid of the other one that I have, and this will be the new one. And since I've got a new mascara, an, an, an old one will go. Next. Okay. I finally, Jesus, finally got my um, Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer Lip Gloss Nude, what I tell you, in Charmer. This is Charmer. Yes, it is. It's number 02 Charmer. You won't be able to see that, but that's what it says. Number 62. Yeah, number 62. It said 02. 62 Charmer. And no, I'm not going to be doing any swatches, people. Well, okay. I'll do a swatch because there is one that I really want to swatch. I, I bought two Vivids, but there's a, a lippy that I want to swatch. And this is a nude. It's a pink nude, and I love it. Oh, my God. Look at that. It could go with this. I could do a combo. Look at that. Oh, my God. But it's beautiful on its own. What? What? Look at that. The formula is so soft. Oh, my God. Yes, people. Okay, so I've got a Vivid Hot Lacquer in Charmer. And I bought this one because, you know, red. Yes, indeed, dude. This one is called So Hot. Let's, let's see just how hot this red is. It looks rather powerful. It looks potent, people. It looks potent. Okay. It's just a regular. It looks orangey because it's kind of an uh, uh, orange red ish kind of a shade because it's supposed to be so hot. You know, I've worn brighter than this, right? But okay, I'm not. Hey, I'm not mad at it. Hell no. I love them. These vivid hot lacquers. Yes, indeed. I know I'm late to the party as usual. These have been out for quite some time. You don't have to tell me. Okay. All right. Next. Here's another little mini that I could not pass up. I had to, had to, had to have this. I really, tr I wanted to try this. I've been wanting to try this blush. It is a blush. Sunny Golden Pink Blush. This is the California, not California, but California by Benefit. And I know the big one has the, the, the sun thing in the middle. The sample doesn't. But look at that shade, people. Look at this coral. This coral is the business. What? Look at this coral. This coral is, if you can see it, this coral is the business. Like, for real, for real. This coral is the business. It's a gorgeous shade. It kind of reminds me of Modern Mandarin, Max Modern Mandarin. Let me do a swatch. It's not as soft as I thought it would be. Now, remember, this is a heavy swatch. So. Oh, the, 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 the monitor is not, I mean, the... the Webcam is not doing it justice at all. It's showing it to be very powdery, which it really isn't. It's more, how can I describe it? It's a coral. It's a very deep coral pink. But if I move it back a little, there we go. There we go. That's exactly what it looks like right there. Y'all can see that, right? Because when I move it up, it changes. It gets lighter. When I move it back, it shows its true form. Along with the lip glosses as well. So, this ain't no real deal. I've worn hotter reds than this. But like I said, I ain't mad at it. 
But this right here, yes, this blush is everything. And I'm glad I have a little one. It's a little mini one. I love it. I absolutely love it. I've been wanting to try it. It is kind of very, well, this is deeper. It's deeper than Max Modern Mandarin. It's, it's deeper than that. But it's very close, close in shade, very, very close in shade. Okay, so, of course, it comes with its brush, which, you know, I'm going to toss away. So, there we go. It's a little mini California. It's Galifor California Benefit. It's supposed to be called something, something, it's like sunny something. But... It's a mini, and I like the packaging. It's very, very cute, very, very retro. And I think there's one more thing. Yes, people. It is a matte lipstick. Let's just get that right out of the way. It's a matte. So just know that it's a matte. Okay. It says right there, L.A. A matte lipstick, but look at the color, people. Hello? What? And the name of this preciousness is called Love Triangle. What? Love Triangle, people. Look at love. What? What? Look at Love Triangle. What? What? Let us do a swatch on Love Triangle, shall we? It's a matte. It's more potent. A little bit, maybe. It's a little bit more potent than what it's showing. Maybe once I wear it, you'll see the potency. But I will have to top it off with a, with a, with the matte lip glass. I'm sorry, because you know I don't do mattes. But this is a this is a lovely. Oh my God, it is lovely. I really wish it would show its true self. That's about as close as you're going to get. It's much better looking in person. So much better looking in person. But it is a matte, people. Look at that. Look at the look at it. Oh my goodness gracious me. What? I saw it and I could not pass it up. It just it just called out to me. Okay. So yeah, it's a matte called Love Triangle. It is from LA Girls. So it's obviously easily priced. Easily priced. This 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 is the last of the Ulta order, by the way. That's it. That's it. That's all. Goodies galore for me. I have enough. There, there's enough. There's enough. But wait. Oh, wait. There's more coming. The NYX on Thursday. You'll see how batshit crazy I went. I, I really... Okay. That's the one where I have like nude lipsticks galore. There's a, there, there are like a couple of three packers. When I mean like three packers, I mean like three sets, like three sets of, of glosses. I don't know what possessed me. I was possessed, for sure, I was possessed. But, um, you know, after that package comes, I'm seriously considering, here I go again, making promises I can't keep, a no buy. I really, you know, like, I think I've got enough to hold me until Christmas. Don't you think I have? Well, wait until you see the NYX order, then you'll see. Nancy, um, yeah, girlfriend, you got more than enough to hold you until Halloween, Christmas, New Year's. We'll see how good, how, how long I can last. We'll see how long I can last. The blush is all over my keyboard now. Okay, well, I'm very, very happy with my purchase, my, my possessions, my, my goodies, my haul. Very, very happy. But I will be thrilled beyond pieces when... My NYX order comes. I also have to tell you one more thing before I go. 
that this has finally said goodbye. It said goodbye since yesterday, I think, and I forgot to tell you about it. The City Color Glowing Complexion Illuminating Cream has finally ended its course. What has taken its place? Uh, this one. This is Rimmel Good to Glow. Good Lord, these lights are like ridiculous today. Rimmel Good to Glow Highlighter in Notting Hill Glow. This one is Notting Hill Glow, which is kind of, the, it's the same kind of like creamy iridescent highlighter that this one is. It's basically the same thing, people. Really. One is City Color, the other one is Rimmel. They're exactly the same thing. Exactly the same, which I mix with my Clean and Clear. I mix these two together. And once I go back to my liquid foundations during the, the fall, the late fall, winter, I'll be mixing Clean and Clear, this, and the liquid foundation all together, all together. So right now I'm just mixing the moisturizer and this together. That's how I moisturize my face. And then I start with my powder. And the powder of the day, which of course I list everything as I normally do, is my Maybelline Age Rewind, The Perfector. And this one is in deep. So that is the powder I have on my face today. So that's it, people. That's it. That's all. I have no other stories for you. Um, this is the loveliness. And uh, that's it. That is it. That is all. Uh, look forward to Thursday, I guess, because that's, uh, that's what's scheduled. It's estimated to arrive on Thursday. So I'll be looking forward to that package. So there you have it, people. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think of all of this and this, the lip of the day, which I absolutely, I'm so in love with this nude lip. I'm so in love with this nude. Any nude lip that looks like this, I'm in love with. Can't help it. Cannot help it. Love this. This is Bahama Beige by Milani. Milani Color Statement Lipstick in 55 Bahama Beige. Okay. So that is it, people. That is it. That is all I watched. I watched Deadliest Catch last night. It was very haunting and it was very sad. Um, Sig, who's like the lead uh, fisherman, lost a friend out in sea, out at sea, and it was just, it was just, you know, after after he had gotten the news, he said, "Okay, that's it." His, he called his wife and he said, we're going back. We're going back to port. Uh, my brother's going to take over and I don't know if I'm going to do this anymore. Because he already suffered a heart attack, okay? Something that could have killed him easily. He suffered it last season. And he came back to fishing. He promised his doctor that he wouldn't be under stress. But the job is called deadliest, deadliest, that's the first word, deadliest catch. They fish for crabs, they fish for opies, they fish for lobsters and all of that. And it is a ambitious position to be in. He's one of the top, top fishermen. And he's been doing it since he was like 17. And he's no longer 17, okay? So it's taken a toll on his health, plus he smokes and he told he told his doctor he wouldn't smoke anymore. He said that, that was the hardest thing to do. But when they gave him the news that they couldn't find his friend out in sea and he'd lost, he said, okay, guys, I, he was talking to the crew that was filming him. He said, okay, guys, I need a moment. He lit up. I said, oh, hell no. No, no, Sig, no. No, you're not supposed to do that. I'm talking to him through the TV as if the man can hear me. So he came to his senses and he, he turned the ship around and he said I can't do this anymore I can't do this anymore his brother his brother um shoot I forgot the brother's name and I love him he is so sexy 
Sega's sexy too. Um, but the brother is going to take over. He's been wanting to take over since forever, forever, forever. But they have a relationship. They love each other to death. Sig is the oldest. And Sig has a hard time giving up the ship to his brother. But I think now he realizes, you know, the writing is on the wall. Now, if you can't read the writing on the wall, there's something wrong with you. So I think he sees that, you know, he is mortal. You're not immortal. You're mortal. And you've only got a certain amount of chance. I mean, you got lucky with the whole heart attack thing. You managed to survive it. Let's not put your luck. So he's going back to port. And now Ed, Edmund? No. Something like that. The brother is going to take over. But if he's leaving the show completely, because last week, John, Jonathan and his brother, Jonathan, retired he, he had his last fishing he did an awesome job and he said that's it when he pulled into port he said that's it guys i'm done i was like oh i'm gonna miss jonathan with the wizard no the wizard is keith jonathan is the time bandit that's the name of the ships sig is uh the northwestern and his brother uh keith and his brother are the wizard and jonathan and his brother are the time bandit and then there's the saga but i forget the name of the guy who started out with with sig but now he's on his own it's a really great show i have watched this show it's got to be a little over 10 years maybe it's got to be 10 years maybe a little less i'm not sure but i've watched it for a very long time and i've grown with these guys i've gotten to know them so to speak so sometimes they can be bastards oh sometimes i get so mad at them you just don't know but sometimes they break your heart sometimes you know there's news that somebody's engaged or somebody's getting married or somebody's getting you know their wife is pregnant and i've just seen i've seen it all i've seen it all i've seen it all so and i continue to watch the show because it's a really really great show so that was last night. That was Deadliest Catch last night. And I taped Leah, Rem Leah Remini. She has that show about Scientology. That show. That whole Scientology situation. What? She's really trying to, to crack it. She's trying to break the barriers of what this Scientology is all about. It's brainwashing to the nth degree. It really is. Once you get sucked in, they make you forget your family. They make you forget your children. They, I mean, it's just, y'all just got to see it. If y'all want to watch it, y'all got to see it for yourself. Because this show is no joke. Uh, Leah, Leah Remini, it's on A&E, I think. I think it's on A&E. Leah Remini. Scientology or something like that. It is very interesting. Very, very interesting. So that's what, what I was watching last night. Today is Wednesday. I think we've got uh, Real Housewives of the of NYC, New York. I think I think it's a reunion. It's part two of the reunion. Part two or part three of the reunion. I know it's a, it's a reunion show. And I know there, there's no, there's no more um, basketball wives because I think that's over as well too. So everything is coming to a close, and you know now we're getting ready for, you know, fall shows are starting. They got a little bit of repeat. The view is all on repeat. The new ones won't start until September fifth or sixth or something like that. So right now the only thing I look forward to are like regular, my regular nighttime shows and TMZ which I tape every single day. TMZ is the ish, people. Y'all watch TMZ. TMZ, they crack me up. They just, oh my God. TMZ is the ish. And these kids are just so young. They are just so young. There is one guy, his name is Van. He's like the only black guy. He's not really the only black guy, but he he's the only black guy that kind of talks and he pitches stories. I love me some Van, honey. Call me. Not really, but <laughs> he is—he is 
funny as hell, which is which is what attracts me to him. And the way he laughs makes me laugh. It is is just it's too, it's too much. These kids are just too much. They're too much for me. They're too much for me. But I watch the show religiously. Love me some TMZ. Okay, so that is that. With that upon that, I'm done. It's half an hour. It's time to move on, people. Okay? I'm going to enjoy my goodies, going to play with them a little bit. And uh, I will talk to you tomorrow. Okay? Um, you know, everything was back to business, back to as if we didn't have a nice outing yesterday. Everything was back to normal, back to business. So thank goodness it was back to business, but people left me the hell alone. Nothing to pick on Nancy about other than her being the dancing queen. Other than that, you know, that gets old really quickly. And, you know, it's time to move on. But I, it really should have been. I mean, this this outing should have been on Thursday. And then we should have just gone back to work on Friday and then call it, call it a weekend. I still have two more days to go, people. But that is that with that upon that. I love you. I love this lip look. Let me know what you think about this lip look as well as all of my goodies. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Okay? I love you. Mwah. Bye now.